Alrighty champs, it's Friday. Almost time for Corne to send us a lucky tune so that we can get ready for the for the weekend. But before we get there, let's say hi to Mars. Hi. Hello. Hi. Alright. So champs, we are going to go into our warm-up. We're going to do three sets of 30 second single unders. So even if you've got double unders, we are just looking for the single unders. If it's tricky, good reason to practice it, right? Just nice and easy. Then we're going to go into 30 second active Samson per side, right? So active Samson stretch, nice big step forward. You're going to go down and you are going to reach up, right? 30 seconds per side. So we're going to hold this position for 30 seconds. You want to lengthen through your spine. You'll feel the stretch in your hip flexor here. You want to reach to the sky and you'll also feel the stretch in your shoulders and your back. Everything there, 30 seconds, and then you're going to swap. Try to stay engaged through your back, right? So you don't want to arch forward. You want to stretch upright, keeping that back nice and straight. All right, 30 seconds per side. Then we're going to go into 30 seconds push up into downward dog. So you go for your push up. And then you're going to push your chest towards your legs, your thighs, and then back down. Good. Nice, easy stretch. If you're doing push-ups on your knees, similar there, pop off your knees, push your chest through. All right. And then the last one that we're going to do there is 30 second slow squats. So we're just aiming to warm up. You're going to squat down, shift your weight around a little bit onto your ankles and your hips, back up, nice and easy, right, 30 seconds of slow squats and you'll be ready for ceiling fan, over to you Mars. Alrighty, thank you Lee, thank you for that lack of warm up, now to get you into the workout for today, our workout today champs is called ceiling fan, ceiling fan is a 15 minute AMRAP consisting of three different movements essentially. All right, so we are starting off with 20 alternating snatches. So for your alternating snatch, you can grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell or your object. That is gonna start off between your feet, not too far ahead as we know by now. You're gonna go into a nice deep squat almost, back straight, driving through the legs and getting that dumbbell overhead. Okay, swapping your arms, boom, there. Nice big leg drive getting that dumbbell overhead. So that is 20 alternating snatches, and then we go into either 40 double unders or 20 dumbbell hopovers. So these hopovers, we've got two different variations there. You can either do a side version, all right, or you can jump forward and back. Whatever works for you, 20 of those or 40 double unders, then we're gonna go into 20 overhead reverse lunges. So for your overhead reverse lunge, once again, grab your object, okay? Push it overhead. You can take a nice big step backwards and bring it back up. Nice big step backwards and bring it back up, okay? So that's 20 of these. So what you can do is either 10 reverse lunges with the one arm, 10 with the other arm, or do a full run with the one arm overhead and your next run with the other arm overhead. Next, going back into another set of 40 double unders or 20 of the dumbbell hop overs. And that is your workout for today. Have fun champs. Over to Lee for the body armor stuff. All right, folks, you're ready for body armor. After you've done your ceiling fan, you're going to go into alternating double tabatas, all right? Normally a tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. But today we're doing a double tabata, so the format is going to change slightly. Slightly, you're going to work for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest. Also, we're alternating between two different movements. All right, so we're going to do four rounds, so that we do four of each movement. All right, so first alternating or first tabata that you're going to do 40 seconds of flutter kicks. So you can get onto your back if you'd like. So you can put your hand in the low of your back there. Right, and for the flutter kicks, we are just kicking up and down. Nice, small, fast movements. 
legs straight, if you can point your toes all the better, and you're just going to move them for 40 seconds, all right? Now, champs, if you really can't hold it for the whole 40 seconds and you relax, just get back at it as soon as you can, okay? Because you get a 20 second rest. After that 20 second rest, we're going to go for 40 seconds of hollow rocks, right? Now, I know this movement is challenging for many of us, but let's see if we can improve on it. So you're going to get into a hollow body position and we're going to rock backwards and forwards, maintaining that nice tight body position, right? So this is my hollow hold. Back is on the ground, my shoulders are off the ground, my feet are off the ground, legs are nice and straight. And I'm going to rock backwards and forwards, right? If that is really difficult for you, then just tuck your knees in, all right? That should make it a little bit easier. Or if you need to, you can even bring your hands forward. There's also a midway where you can maybe tuck one of your legs in and that will make it a little bit easier as well, right? 40 seconds of rocks, then 20 seconds rest, that's one round, and then we start with the flutter kicks again. Alright folks, enjoy this one and enjoy your weekend.